Hello, friends. I'm back, back in the saddle doing what I do best. And today, I just, I really didn't want to do it, but I feel like I had to do it because this mess with Harry and um, Meghan Markle is like kind of annoying. So I'm going to cut straight to it. Okay. And I'm going to try to make sense out of nonsense and try to see if I can try and, I don't know, make these scars into stars. So those of you that know me know that my mom, um, well, my whole family really is from the Caribbean. I'm first generation American. I'm actually the second person, literally, um, in my family born in American soil. So um, Guyana got its independence from the crown in the mid 60s. And my mom was a young woman during that time. And um, it's kind of a big deal. So being that I'm from the Caribbean, I follow a lot of social media pages that um, kind of just, you know, they they center around the crown. I'm seeing all these feet. I don't really care about the, like the royal family. Like I got bills. I'm broke. Like <laughs> I really don't care about any of that. But I can't help but notice like all these different, you know, feeds and stories about this interview that um, that family did with Oprah. And my mom calls me today and she's like, oh my gosh, you know, have you heard about Harry? Have you heard about Harry? I can't believe they did Megan like that. How could they do Megan like that? Megan's such a nice girl. She's skin smooth. She's skin soft. How could they do Megan like that? The girl is a nice girl. And she's mother black, you know, she's mother black. And I'm just like sitting and I'm listening to my mother and I'm listening to her. And I'm listening to, you know, my elder cousins and my aunts and uncles and they're sending me all this stuff and I'm no knock, no knock. I'm, this is no knock to anybody Caribbean, specifically Guyanese, you know, that follows this stuff. Like they grew up under the crown. That's what we have to understand. Like when my mom was born, like that was their queen. Like you got to understand that. That's like us just throwing Puerto Rico away. Like what? You mean Puerto Rico? But this is what happened. And my grandfather foretold of the struggle and the plight and the damnation that was going to take place if Diana got their independence too early. And that man was a visionary. You know, a lot of people who weren't well off and affluent like our family struggled feeding their children, um, maintaining quality of life. It, 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 took, <laughs> it took a little nasty turn. It got kind of got kind of real there for a second. <laughs> and by a second, I mean that case. Um, <laughs> but it was rough. So I don't. I don't knock or feel, you know, like it's these idiots. When I listen to them follow the crown and waking up at 3 a.m. that Saturday for the wedding, like I, I get why they're doing it. Okay. It's like we always had a president and one day we just like don't have a president. Like I understand. I get it. Here's what I struggle with. And the Guyanese Americans, the Jamaican Americans, the any Caribbean American, anybody who is first generation American and your parents are just like all obsessed with. Harry, like, tell me if y'all understand where I'm coming from with this, okay? The thing that surprises me is that it surprises y'all. Like, that's the part that I don't understand. Like, you know, usually when it comes to race relations and stuff, um, we're all like, oh my goodness, you know, you can't think all black people are bad or all white people are bad or all, you know, any group. You can't say they're all bad because you don't, know you know where, where they, their lineage come from what she they fall from like you don't really know but like with the royals dude you know i'm sorry again no not to my mom they used to literally stop the middle of school day and go home for high tea my grandmother curtsied for the queen of england like curtsied dude twice my mother literally speaks the Queen's English. Like when she's at work and she got a code switch. Oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. and you know, it, like they they really they really take that stuff seriously. So I'm not knocking them. I'm not making fun of them. Like I get it. I really get it. Okay. I just don't understand why y'all surprised. Like I don't get why this is shocking. I don't understand why you don't understand. Um, these are not, you know, just rich white people who just have a problem with black people like these are the actual descendants of like 
the actual colonizer. Like they take that real, that white man's burden very seriously. And I'm not saying that all British white folks is like that. I'm not saying that at all. Not all Europeans. My sister's a European person from Europe. You know what I'm saying? And she's she's of the she's of the Caucasian persuasion, at least half. You know what I'm saying? I love her to death. And my little blonde niece is like, oh, I love you. But like, what is the reason? Like, why are we all shocked? Why are we all in this? Oh my goodness, I can't believe they did it to Megan. Why did they say it to Megan? Dude, she's black. This is the great, 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 great granddaughter of the dude that like put the cuffs on black people. Like this just stinks of middle passage. It has plant the flag written all over it. <laughs> like these, this, you don't have to wonder. Like I like them and they don't look like me, but they be racist dude you don't have to think about it you already know it's like this is the time when it's okay to make assumptions like legitimately legitimately these are the actual descendants of like the people who like got the ships like they was cool with ferdinand and all of them like like columbus and i know he italian but he was still for the spanish i know that i'm a teacher i'm not dumb but these are like the actual people for example, my grandfather, I want to say, was about six five, and he had nine children with my grandmother. And one of their children, my eldest uncle, is over six foot. He's like, how old is he? My uncle's like six three, six four. Like he's crazy tall. Like he dominates the room with his, just his stature. He's huge. He's always been like that. I don't know if it's that's watch. Like he's huge, right? And he's got these six kids. And the last three are a little shorter, like my like his wife. But the first three are like stupid tall. Like they're crazy tall. Like I could I always thought I was short because the men in my family are like really super tall. So out of them, there's a there's a girl. And this cousin, um, she's tall for a woman. She's like five, ten, five, eleven. She's like mad tall. She's crazy tall. And then she has this son who's like 6'5". My little cousin is like, I think he was born in 2015, 2016. No, 2005. Dude is like 6'5". He's crazy tall. Like, he's insane tall. To not understand why and how Queen Elizabeth comes at Megan kind of sideways is to not understand why my little cousin is tall. I just don't understand how y'all don't understand. Like, you got to make it make sense. Like, how are y'all... Yo, coronavirus is still here. Systematic racism, like, is still here. You know. And then the thing that's just crazy to me is that they worried about the baby skin color. Megan Markle had the little boy, Archie, when she was 37. By the time I deliver, this will be my fourth. By the time I deliver this baby, I'll be 37. I don't even want to do my hair. Like, they want to test me for genetic gestational diabetes. They want to test me for Down syndrome. They want to test me for everything. Like, they want to, I'm like, they going to do all of this stuff. Yes, it's absolutely absurd that y'all worried about the baby's skin tone. Shorty's 37. Like, this is not how I remember pregnancy. Last time I was pregnant, I was 23. And it was like, Pleasant. Like, I'm not even doing my videos and getting back to you guys like I should. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. The boob sweat is a mess. I can't drink. I can't have my oysters. I can't have my hookah. I'm I'm a miser I'm miserable. Look at me. I'm here with a bonnet on my head. Like the moisturizer is, is absent. There's no earrings. I look like I look like a young Harriet. I love Harriet, but I don't want to look like her. Sorry, Harriet. I love you. Like I'm out here looking wild. And I couldn't imagine being the age that I am now. This is young woman stuff. This is geriatric pregnancy. Like this right here, this is a trip. And then like I might end up with stretch marks. Like I never had stretch marks before. I know, right? Nine pound babies never had stretch marks. And now I'm just like, I feel like I'm being faced with impending doom. And then to have somebody come to me and tell me, oh yeah, so how dark you think this child gonna be? I mean, 
the blacker the better, I think. I don't know. And then you coming at her sideways, but it doesn't surprise me, dude. Like, these are the actual, like, do you understand that? Like, these, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to, okay, well, you know, her mom is kind of stink, so I don't know. Yo, you already know, like, you know, you know, like, these are the, like, do you understand these people took over the planet, like, very white man's burden? From Papua New Guinea to Iolani Palace in Hawaii to Captain Cook to Christopher Columbus to just the oppression of everybody that is not Caucasian. Like European royalty literally caused all of this and I'm not understanding how y'all not understanding. And then Tyler Perry, I hear, because I'm not watching that interview. I'm not giving that my brain bite. But I hear Tyler Perry is the one who offered up his mention and he offered up his um his security. And that was very honorable of him. It really was. But that just goes back to show you what kind of people, you know, the sun people, the melanated people, just to show you what type of time we on. What happened to all the rich friends in Europe? Yo, silence is violence. Silence is violence. I had a coworker. She got real quiet. She called herself a friend. Eh, no. She got real quiet after George Floyd. I'm like, I'm, I'm scared for my sons. I don't get along with my ex-husband. Yes, but I don't want, I don't want to get a call that he's been killed. And he's in the military. Now, catch him out outside of uniform. He could be killed. Like, and I'm scared. And she's like, oh. I'm a good person. I'm like, keep telling yourself that. Silence is violence. These people have celebrity. They can be hurt. They can be robbed. They can be killed. They can be kidnapped and held at ransom. And to not give your own grandchild a title or security? I mean, my in-laws or ex-in-laws, whatever you want to call them, they are, they are, okay? They're a colorful bunch, those ones. But I can drop my kids off. You know what I mean? There's going to be some questionable conversations that I'm definitely going to have to, you know, debrief them when they get back and kind of, you know, scrub them clean and make sure was anything inappropriate said or done. No. <laughs> but, you know, they still, I, yo, they're not even given security. You legitimately don't care. But then I feel like they were in on the whole Diana and Dodie thing. Dodie Alfayette. Like that, that stunk of the queen. But anyway, to all my Caribbean American people, y'all parents is, is just dragging this situation now. Like, make it make sense. See if they could like, subscribe, and follow my channel. Maybe, maybe, like, like do you not understand? That's like, my dude is black. I'm black. He has a black child. I have black children. And then my baby comes out black and you just not understanding why the child is black. It's like the child came out black? Yes. I mean, we, we both black. That's what happens when you put two blacks together. Like the children come out black. And like it kind of keeps going that way. So why y'all don't understand that the queen, like they literally created, perpetuated, enforced, like, racism and the oppression of everybody that doesn't look like them. Like they will marry their own family members to keep the brown people out and you don't understand why. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta head out. Like I just don't understand. It's it's the it's the confusion for me. Like I'm confused that you're confused. I'm worried that you don't get it. Like I'm not understanding that you don't understand. It's something I think I'm stupid. I think I'm stupid. Hampton Ring University, y'all ain't, y'all ain't do. I'm dumb. I gotta be, right? I don't know. Like, subscribe, follow, share. I don't know. Just Megan, keep your head up, girl. You know what I mean. The man love you. He done threw the whole damn crown in the garbage. He love you. He love you long time. And I think that is completely crappy the way they handling y'all. But I mean, what you expect? These is the people that invented slave ships. I'ma head out. All right, turn those scars into stars. I'm going to get with y'all later. All right, just make it make sense.